Hey guys, it's Ariel. So today I'm showing you what's in my makeup bag. So I guess we're going to just jump right into it. First I'm going to explain myself a little bit. The first thing I want to show you is kind of my makeup bag gallery. So this is what I keep all my makeup in and I keep just hairpins and hair clips in this little tiny bag. It's really small compared to what I keep my toothpaste and um, like shampoo and stuff like that. So I guess we're going to jump right into it. These are all Betsy Johnson bags. I really like Betsy Johnson. I like her style and design. And this one is just zebra print or no leopard print. On the um, the first thing is the CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless. I like this, but I don't love this. Um, it's almost completely empty though. I've been using another primer. The fact that I'm bringing this is because it's almost out so I can throw it out when I'm all done with it at their house. I'm going to be there for 11 days. So I packed pretty light for staying such a long time. The next thing is a quad of the Clinique eyeshadows. This has spicy champagne and posh squash, I think it is. And I really like it because it's very compact and this will definitely last me. And if it breaks, I don't care. It was free from Clinique with a purchase of another item a couple years ago. The next thing I have in here is my favorite lipstick and this is in CoverGirl Collection Queen. I love this color. It's so pretty. It's a nude pinky color, which um, you can see down here, and it's in color Penelope Rose, or Penelope Pink. The next thing, I'm going to get these out of the way, I have an Urban Decay brush, and this is kind of like an eyeliner brush or just a crease brush. It's really tiny. You can use your foundation with it just to cover up blemishes, as you can see. Um, but I'm going to be using this for my eyebrows and a little bit of cover up and concealer. The next brush I have is this is from Sephora. No, this is from Sigma. And this is the Blending E25. I like to use this for a blending brush. And that's the only thing I use this for is blending. The next thing I have is a Sonia Kashuk. It's just like almost like a kabuki brush, but it's really good for blending in your makeup and just it gives you a really flawless finish. I really do like it and I like the handle too. It's really like ergonomical. And the last one is just a really cheap, it's soft but it's really cheap, it's an elf brush. I've lost a couple bristles on this already so I don't care if I leave it there just like with the rest of my brushes. Um, I won't fret. I like it because it's going to be really good for contouring and I can pack on my blush and as well, I can certainly rinse this off and do highlighting with it too because it does have a little bit of a point to it as you can see. And the next thing is my NARS. It is my blush and bronzer. I really like this. I've hit pan. I've showed this in so many videos before. The fact that it's just so <laughs> compact and this is really sleek so it's easy to fit in my bag. And the next is really just Sully Melly stuff, so I'm gonna go through these pretty fast. So I have a Clinique lip gloss in raspberry and a mascara from Lancome. This was just a sample when I bought some products from them. Um, I have a Bunny Bell eyeliner in purple, a clean color um, lip liner in um, brown, but I used that for my eyebrows today, tried out, and I liked it, so I stuck it in my bag. I don't like enough to use it for everyday makeup, for, but for the 11 days I'm there, it will do justice. This is actually kind of old, and I wasn't going to use it, but it was almost empty, as you guys can tell, and I want to use it up, and then I can throw it out when I'm there. It is a true match from L'Oreal. I did like it when I first purchased it, but then greater things came along, and uh, I fell out of love with it, but it's good just for travel. The High Beam from Benefit. Um, this is the only highlighter I brought with me. Another eyeliner. None of them are liquid, because I don't want them spilling all over my bag, or breaking, or getting too hot, and this is a Britney Waterproof nothing too good to say about it. It's kind of hard, but I don't care if I leave it there. Then I just have a brand new sample of Urban Decay Primer Potion in Greed, I think it's called. Yes. Chapstick. Two samples from Estee Lauder and Clinique Makeup. They both match my skin tone. I already swatched both from both sides of my face, so that's my foundation for the 11 days I'm there, and I'm hoping this will last me. I, sh I hope. I think it will. Sometimes when I'm packing, I'm like, oh, I hope I have enough, but it's like, who cares if you go to the drugstore and buy more. Um, tweezers. Two perfumes. I just bought perfume and a roller ball, but I'm not bringing it because I don't want it to break or lose them. This is the Aqua, um, Aqualina Peak Sugar. I actually don't like this, but my fiance loves the smell on me. And a Beckham Signature um, perfume as well. And then I have some hair product and some face oil. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have a good one. Bye guys.